I'm Max. Hi, Max. And there's a, a lot of uh, important things in the universe, but what, in your opinion, do you think is the most important? The most important thing in the universe? Well, we're sitting on it. Planet Earth. You know, it's the only place that we know where there is life. Uh, you know, although there are more stars and more planets than there are like sand grains around all the beaches, around all the coastlines on Earth, there's only one planet where we know there's Earth. So I, I have to say, it's got to be the thing that we're actually standing on at the moment. Hi, my name's Nathan. Hi, uh, Nathan. Does life exist on other planets? Well, of course, that is probably one of the biggest uh, unanswered questions in science. It's, it's the biggest question in science. Are we alone? Um, we don't know. We've got absolutely no idea. We've only got one example of biology, and that's the example we have on the Earth. But um, we used to think that, that, that life was likely to be very rare, because when we look at the Earth, it's quite a nice place. It's got oceans and rivers and clouds, and it's, got, it, it's at a reasonable temperature. When we look around our solar system at the other planets, they look to be terrible places. They tend to have no atmosphere. They tend to be raked by deadly radiation from the sun, um, you know, frozen solid. Um, and, and we thought that, that it was very unlikely that we'd find life on any of these other planets or moons. But in the 1970s, um, a guy called Bob Ballard discovered on the seafloor, miles down on the seafloor on the Earth, these, these things called... Um, black smokers or hydrothermal vents. And these are places where hot um, uh, compounds burst out of the crust of the Earth. And around these, these black smokers, which were uh, in complete darkness, were discovered massive colonies of bacteria, tube worms the size of your arm. And so this completely changed our picture of, of, of our ideas about life. We thought that life could only exist with sunshine, uh, you know, in a, in a quite um, comfortable environment. But we discovered that, in fact, life can live in complete darkness, miles down on the seafloor. And since we've discovered that life exists deep in the rocks, like miles down in the rocks. And now we look out at all these places like Mars and, uh, in particular, a moon of, of um, Jupiter called Europa, which is covered in ice, but beneath the ice we know there's an ocean. We look at these places and we think, hmm... Maybe there is life, you know, maybe it would survive there because it survives in extreme environments on the Earth, so maybe it's, it survives in extreme environments elsewhere. But as for life elsewhere in the universe, well, there's something like uh, 100 billion stars in our galaxy, and there's probably more planets than there are stars. There's 100 billion galaxies. So there's so many possible places for life that I think it's extremely likely that there is life elsewhere.